All right, so we're going to have our first science quiz uh, coming up on Monday. So um, I want to show you how we're gonna go through and highlight our notes. We won't do this every time. Typically in science, our quizzes are more vocab based. So we'll have some sort of notes that go over new vocab um, for that unit. But um, for this one, we're just going to use the notes that we've already taken and highlight some of those things um, to study for the quiz. So um, the first thing you need is to kind of take out your what is science notes for a second, okay? Um, for the quiz, you do need to know the definition of science, that science is a pursuit of knowledge about the world in which we live, okay? Um, if you have a highlighter, do exactly like I'm doing and just highlight that one section. If you don't, you can use either a colored pencil or a pen maybe or um, even just your regular blue pen and uh, go from there but that's kind of what it should look like once it's highlighted, okay? Uh, just somehow mark it so you know to study it, all right? I'm gonna put it back in the page protector. Okay, all right, going to the notes. From notes number one, um, my notes were not completely filled out, but I filled out what we need to know. Um, the first thing you want to highlight is the, uh, what a shadow is, that it is the absence of light. You also need to know the definition of shadow, which is the dark area cast by an object. Um, that would be an example of a vocab word, but it's kind of hidden within the notes, which is why we're highlighting it. You also need to know what kinds of objects create shadows, that it's created by opaque objects, meaning it does not allow any kind of light to pass through. Um, remember that translucent uh, can sometimes create shadows. They're not as uh, bold of shadows as uh, opaque objects do. And then transparent can as well, but again, they're usually very, very faint. You also need to know that the sun rises in the east and sets in the west. Oh, sorry. The sun rises in the east, which creates shadows that extend towards the west. And that they are very long in the morning. Then that they are short and point north at the midday when the sun reaches its zenith or highest point in the sky. And then you also need to know that shadows are long and point east in the evening. So you need to understand that pattern that they start, uh, the sun's in the east, sun's in the east, shadows are long and point west. Then as the sun moves across the sky, now when it's midday, they're shorter and right below. And then as the sun moves and sets in the west, the shadows are long and extend again, long again and extend towards the east. Okay. Um, on the back side of those notes, this is where we had the, um, the notes filled out for the little diagram here where I gave you the times of day and you had to draw the shadow. Um, you are going to have something similar like that on the quiz. So just make sure you understand this section. If I were to give you this exact same question, you should be able to give me um, a very similar answer. Also, you need to know the position of the sun in relation to the seasons. So you need to know that in summer, the sun is high in the sky. Then in fall, it's a little bit lower. It's still going to go from east to west, just a little bit lower in the sky, not maybe directly overhead. So in the fall, the sun is lower in the sky. Then you need to know that in the winter, it is at its lowest noon position. And, oop, you can't really see that. In the spring, uh, the sun is back to the middle position that it was for the fall as well. Okay. Then uh, going on to notes number two, having to do with day and night. This is where we talked about um, the difference between rotation and revolution. Here, you need to know the definition of rotation. This is when an object turns or spins around. Be very careful with this and revolution. Revolution means traveling around something else. Make sure you know it spins around on itself. That's rotation. When you see the word something else, when it's traveling around something else, that is key for uh, revolution. You also need to know that Earth rotates on its axis counterclockwise. 
which gives the appearance of a sun that rises and sets. Uh, basically, what you mostly need to understand from that is that it is the rotation of the earth that causes day and night to happen. If the earth didn't rotate, we would be either completely in day all the time or completely in night all the time. So that rotation or spinning, that the earth itself spinning around is what causes um, the day and night pattern that we are used to. Okay, and then um, this is the last set of notes that you need to study for the quiz. Uh, starting from here, this will information will be on the test, but for right now, that's what you need to begin studying for the quiz. Um, make sure that you don't wait until the night before to try and cram all this in. It's not a whole lot of information, so just spend a little bit of time each night reviewing it, and you will do just fine.